has been a bit since I moved these plants out of tissue culture and the pinguicola is doing doing great um, as I expected they usually do very well whenever I transfer out of tissue culture the cephalotus is doing okay a little light on color but they usually take some time to to adapt the Drosera capillaris uh, looks a little wilted but um, looks looks very good so far uh, they usually take some time to adapt they sometimes they actually die completely and they just come back but it's usually a plant that does very well the darlingtonia some of them are um, still okay uh, but some of them they actually fully died and like like those over here they actually has some fungus so i need to spray this with probably some neem oil uh, venus fly traps very small uh, some surviving some fully dead that's okay uh, they they were they didn't look too good to start with so we'll see and the s wrappings uh, all of them is still alive uh, it's a very easy plan to to take care and i think it, this uh this plant is one that will grow emerge very well this is an aquatic plant so they are look pretty good still they are on this flat uh, i think i need to add more water i think it's already it's, doesn't have any water on the bottom i think it's time to me for add more water the humidity dome is still on uh, but now it's fully open uh, the vents are fully open all the time and i think in the next week or so i want to fully remove the 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 dome and then after that i will start to acclimate it to to the outside on the shade and then later on to to the sun all right i'll see you next time hey everyone thanks for watching the video if you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.